I'm gonna put the one in quite dark, that did. Just, it actually does seem quite dark, to tell you the truth, but do you know what? It's 10 to 8 and it is dark. So, just got back from Aldi. I've been shopping. I didn't go shopping last week because so I wasn't very well. But I'm feeling a bit better this week, so I decided to go. So, if you want to see what I've been buying this week from Aldi, just continue to watch. So, first thing that plumped on the side, it wasn't in a bag some bacon potatoes, a massive bag, and look how big potatoes are, they're huge, I think they were £1.19, so I've sort of um, stopped buying that Albert Bartlett ones, the red potatoes, because I think they were something like two ninety nine a bag or something, and the potatoes were a lot smaller than them, so just going to carry on buying my baked potatoes. Right. First bag, these bags are heavy up to two full bags. So, this is the cold bag. I've got a extra large chicken. I got this for Sunday dinner, so I thought I'd do like a roast dinner or something. I've got some nectarines. This line is really getting on my nerves. I just don't think be able to get it any better let me bring you forward a little bit maybe no i'm sorry sorry that lighting's crap but we'll move past that so yeah next to being said that one got some grapes these are the seedless white grapes the grapes seem to go down one in my house so got them got some of the norpac they just have a lure pack in there today, which I think was, um, it was the bigger one, but it was about £9 or something. It's ridiculous. I'm not going to pay that. I've bought some bananas. Bananas? Bananas. Now, these are green because these are just, like, ripen at, ripen at home. And I bought the little ones because they're to go in my porridge. So, these are just a perfect size because a whole banana in the porridge is just a bit too much. So, they're, like, half the size of a normal um what would you call that a punnet what do you call a bananas like that comment below what really do i throw I've got a sweetheart cabbage so i've got this to go with the chicken on sunday and i can make some coleslaw out of it as well yummy i've got some ripen at home kiwi some sweet chilli hummus. So this stuff's lovely. And I've got some peppers to go with my hummus. Um, I've just got the wonky mixed peppers. I'm, I'm trying to be a bit a bit better with my diet. Um, that's why I've started eating porridge in the morning. And then I'm trying to have a lunch and then a dinner. Um, and then healthy snacks in between. So I've got these because I know a lot of people don't like the green peppers, but I absolutely love them, especially when, you know, you've got some hummus with them as well. When I'm <clears throat> chopping up peppers to go in, like, fajitas and curries and things like that, I just eat the pepper as I go along. Um, but I thought of doing maybe Marcus um, some fajitas or something this week. They can have some peppers with those. So it was cheaper to get this big um, wonky pack of peppers than just the three individual ones. So got those got this big pack of bacon 12 back bacon rushes the dry cured ones so yeah they look quite big rocky just please got those i think the dog's waiting to be fed because i haven't fed him yet we went for a walk over here and then had to go shopping so he's all right he's had like treats and stuff Bought mushrooms because if you watched my last shopping haul, I forgot the mushrooms, but they have plenty of mushrooms in this week and I spotted them. Rocky, come here. Um, I've got some scotch eggs. Um, just thought these would be good for lunches, mainly for Marco. I've got the cat some food now she's waiting at the door but i'm not letting her in now because she likes to stand on this side and eat 
and I do spray it and wipe it after she's been pouring all over it. Um, but I'm not letting her in now because she just she'll just stand all over my shopping. So she can have some of those in a bit because she's run out. Oh, I've got in with this um, squeaky toy. I've got the cat at the door. It was raining earlier, but it's not raining now. I've got a mozzarella. So I got this mozzarella to go with the spinach and ricotta tortellini. So this will just be a dinner in the week. I might have it tonight. I'm not sure yet. I'm not that hungry at the moment, to tell you the truth. Um, I had the leftover rice dish that I made last night with HelloFresh. I did a little vlog. I'm not sure whether I'm going to carry on and add something to last night's vlog. We'll just put it out there. It was just a really short video. I'm not sure yet, so you'll have to wait and see for that one. I just feel like I'm, I'm, I've like lost track with the vlogging and I don't know what to say or do because I haven't vlogged for about two weeks. So I just feel like yeah, I've lost the, um, what's the word? I've lost the, the knack. Anyway, moving on, I've got four Aberdeen Angus beef quarter pounders. Um, I forgot the, the burger buns, so I'll have to get those on the day when we have these. I could always just order them on the GoPuff app. Just get them delivered. Um, I've got some firecracker chicken chicken breast sizzlers. So I got these for Marcus because he's been going to the gym and stuff. So I thought he might like them with a bit of veg or salad. Um, haven't bought this for probably a few months. It's the Hearty Cottage Pie and it's by the Gastro Collection, the specially selected ones. I recommend this if you shop in Aldi and you like cottage pie, it's really delicious. But this is really piling up here. I'm gonna have to move some stuff in a minute. I've only got one more thing left in this bag though. So. Dog treats. So these are the Marrows Meaty Rolls oven baked for dogs. Let me see if he wants one now. Get my receipt out. Rocky do. Like a really low voice today. I've not my throat's feeling a bit funny and my mouth's dry. Do you want a treat? What's this? Come here, let's get your treat then. Hey, yes. Say hello, everybody. <gasps> What's that? I'm gonna take it. Good boy. Good boy. You'll probably take it, hide it, and then eat it there. So yeah, let's move over, let's move over, let's move on to the next bag, see what I mean, I've just completely lost the knack for vlogging. Second bag, last bag. Right, I'm not going to show the front of this, but this is a card that I got to put in with my collaboration that I'm doing with another YouTuber, um, Tara Beauty, so I'm not going to show you the front of that one. I got it from Aldi, so sorry about that. Anyway, I got these cup noodles, the Sober Wok Style Classic. These are absolutely delicious. I've got one, two, three, four of those, because we all like them. I think they, were, they weren't cheap, they were about £1.49 or something. Before I got them, my mum gets this, the Katsu Curry... Delicious chicken flavour curry rice. And I had one at hers the other day and they're really nice. So it's got one of those. I bought Rocky a let me just grab it and I'll show you. I think we got Rocky a licky mat. So you put the peanut butter on it, you get well, like a little sort of um spatula thing as well, which I think I left at my mum's. Um and just like rub it into all like the grooves and it's like different different like sections that you can get it out of and you can like pop it down the cupboard door or the fridge or something and we we didn't have any peanut butter left so I've got some of this one this is the 100% nuts from the foodie market smooth peanut butter no palm oil so I thought that would be much better you know the ones that have got like added salt and added sugar 
So I've got him some of that. And to tell you the truth, I think it was about 50p more than the other one. So it's it's not like it was very really expensive. Got some of the Lunex breathable panty liners. These are just the normal ones. These are 47p. So absolute bargain. The daily ones by who are they by? They bought body form or something. I think they buy body form, they're about £1.50, and I think they've got less in them, and they're exactly the same. Um, I've got some milk chocolate digestives, forgetting that I bought loads of biscuity things the other day, so yeah, I've just got one pack of them. I've seen these ones, these are like the Kinder, I think they're called Kinder Bonbons, milk chocolate with a milky filling and chopped hazelnut. So we used to do them at um, Easter time, but these are the Aldi ones. I didn't actually realise they were the Aldi ones until I was at the checkout. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give them a, a try. Not the last shot. I got some of the Smooth Biscoff spread. And I've seen on... Where have I seen it? TikTok or YouTube or something. People just putting like a little blob of it in there porridge just gives it a nice flavor so so how much is it for one teaspoon well tablespoon it's 87 calories and there's no way it'll be on a teaspoon of that a tablespoon of that it'll be a teaspoon so i reckon a teaspoon probably be like 30 calories or something it's not much um they've got these candles in at the moment the pet ones it's called posh paws and it's cotton blush blossom helps to fight pet odors and it smells really really nice um i don't know if i like like the paws all over it but i just thought yeah i don't like my house smelling of dog so got one of those and these were on offer as well that I've bought Izzy before. So this one is the Ocean Wave Scented Candle by the Hotel Collection. So it's like the fancy collection in Aldi. It smells amazing. I just really like the, the glass it comes in. So it's got like a chrome rim on it. And then it's like, um, what's it called? A gradual ombre it's like an ombre blue and then goes up to like clear glass um this one oh is this cracked looks like it's got like a little i don't know if you can see that like a hairline cracking it there you see that i think it's all right though let's have a look at the inside yeah it's fine it's really thick but this is the kind, the eucalyptus, mint and cedarwood scented candle. And these are always the ones that I get for Izzy. So I think these, they're meant to be 2 dollars each. And they're down to one ninety nine. So I'll just pick those up while they're on offer. Then I've seen they were doing these. These are so cute. They're the satin pillowcase. So I suffer with like frizzy hair. I mean, I've, I've straightened my hair today and I've been out. Now it has been spitting so you know i've got it wet in the rain and then it's dried so it's gone off quite frizzy but um i've heard about these satin pillowcases let me just get one out i'll show you how cute it's been so yeah i just thought and it'd be really cool as well and like soft on the face and soft on the hair so yeah i picked up two of those the matchy matchy on the bed and i think they were i think they were 4.99 each but i did want to buy one of these a while ago and I completely forgot about it i could have ordered one off amazon or something but for 4.99 i think that's a bargain so got two of them um and they've also been doing this um different sleep things by Lucura. So they had the bath salts. They had like a rollerball rub thing that you rub on your um, your wrists. Um, and it's like lavender and eucalyptus. I think they had some hand cream. What else they had? I think they had the face mask or something. But these are just the sleep 
bath salt, 300 grams you get in there. Oh, it smells really strong. The smell's absolutely lovely. Um, I can't remember how much that was. Let me just have a look. Let me check the receipt. So that was... Bath salts, one ninety nine. So I think that's quite cute actually. In three hundred grams, and how much do you put in? So sprinkle a handful of salts into running warm water. Immerse yourself for fifteen to twenty minutes for ultimate relaxation. So I'll give them a try. And let you know how I get on with them. But I just thought, yeah, they look good and. I have trouble sleeping sometimes as you know if you've been watching my channel for a while you will know that i struggle with sleeping so anything to help moving on i've got the cat some awesome pockets chicken flavor she really likes them i got two of the the sure antiperspirant so we always go for this one the bright bouquet and also got the cotton dry but Matthew and Marcus use these as well because that they are quite good actually I, I think they are like unisex anyone can use them doesn't matter oh I've seen this as well because I missed because I didn't go to Aldi last week I missed out on the makeup -y bits that they had in so we did have some like concealer I think they had some CC cream and stuff but I did actually pick up that CC cream before and I wasn't really fussed about getting more concealer. I've got concealer at the moment. But I did see this. This is Liqueur Collagen Lip Oil. You can see that. Um, it says collagen, shea butter and vitamin E. Um, what does it say? So it has been formulated with Super 5 Crystal Complex and Super 8 ingredients that will help protect against drying by promoting hydration. Hydration. Um, this oil will help the lips appear, appear smoother, plumper, and full of shine. So, yeah, but I'll give that a go. My lips get really dry in winter, so any sort of lip products, you've got me. This. Now, this is something that you don't normally see in my hauls. Um, alcohol. So I went to stay with my mum last weekend for a couple of days, which was absolutely lovely. She spoiled me, she made me some lovely meals, we had some nice wine. Um, so, I mean, I call this Riesling, but she said it's called Riesling, so Riesling. Um, this is the 2021 wine of Germany, and it was absolutely lovely. It's, it's lethal, actually, because it's so nice. I was drinking it like it was pop, so... If you're into your wines, um, white wine, this, this is absolutely lovely. Give it a try. So, yeah, I might have a glass of that in a bit. Pop it in the fridge and a nice glass of wine. So, they've been doing um, some quite a lot of cleaning products in Aldi at the moment. I'm seeing this Astonish Specialist Vac Mac. Machine carpet shampoo lifts and removes stains for super concentrated. I'm really considering getting a well, I am gonna get it a Vax. Um, is it by Vax? You know, the carpet cleaners, I'm sure it's Vax. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd get some of this because it was only £1.49, and I've had a look online, and those carpet um things the the solution are so expensive i think the carpet cleaner i'm, go, I'm getting actually comes with a solution as well but for a while this was on offer for one pound 49 and it's how much is in here one litre i thought yeah grab it let's give it a smell see what it's like i didn't smell this one in the shop oh it smells really nice and fresh yeah i like that so yeah i'm really i think i'm gonna order it this weekend because i just i really need to get my carpets done i had them fitted how many years ago was it so when we did the living room it's 2016 so six years ago 
never cleaned it. I've got down on my hands and knees and like proper scrubbed it. Um, but I've never actually proper carpet cleaned it, so it needs it desperately. So yeah, I'll I'll show you when I get it anyway. We can we'll do a quick little video with using it. Anyway, moving on. I've got some of the Power Force thick bleach. Always get that. Um, so with the cleaning bits, they were doing the Fabulosa Room and Fabric Freshener and they had the Autumn Scents in. So they had the Toasted S'mores, like an Autumn Floral Scent. Um, they had a, another toasted one, but this is the Toffee Apple one. See that there? Oh, it smells amazing. Oh. It just reminds, this actually reminds me of a more of like a, a Christmas scent, you know, like the apple and cinnamon. Let me see if it's got, what's it say, for like perfume wise? It doesn't say, but it's like an apple, cinnamony, really sweet smell and I'm so looking forward to using that. I love my Fabulous stuff, brilliant. That was... How much was that? I think it was, was it £1.49? Something like that. I can't find it. Uh, I literally can't find it. The pet odor candle is two pounds seventy nine. I literally can't find it on here. Was it not scanned it? Uh, oh yeah, one forty nine, and the carpet stuff was one pound eighty nine. Yeah. Got some greaseproof paper. I like to, anything that I put in the oven. I like to put these on my baking trays because my baking trays are manking. When I get new ones, I'm definitely going to carry on using this. But yeah, it's perfect for literally baking. I don't know, sticking oven chips in, chicken, anything. Baking paper. That is well annoying when that happens. I've gone a bit wonky. I don't know what you've balanced on that. Oh. The nectarines. Oh. So annoying. I've gone a bit wonk, but we are nearly at the end of the video, so I'm gonna quickly carry on. Let me unplug ya. Anyway, three more things. So I've got some of the Owl Matt Tropical Lily Floral Liquid Wash. And this is the super concentrated one. So I've just completely run out of my bold. I didn't have any bold at Aldi. This smells beautiful. And then the last two things. Two. Oh my God, I've got... Oh no, I've picked up Coca-Cola rather than Coca-Cola Zero. Oh wow. Full fat cola. I'm sure Matthew won't mind. It's only two bottles of it. So, yeah. I think we've got cans this week. It doesn't have any cans. So, I picked up the bottles and I picked up the wrong bottles. So, oi. But anyway, that is the end of my haul. The total price this week came to £89.99. Um, I don't know whether that's good or not, but I've got quite a few things. So yeah, hopefully I'm just gonna I am gonna carry on with these from now on. Um I'm very up and down at the moment. Um I do appreciate all the kind comments that I'm getting saying that you you know you'll you'll wait for me for when I'm ready to come back. So I do really, really appreciate that. So yeah. So hopefully you'll see more than one video this week from me. And um yeah thanks for watching guys like always if you're not already please subscribe to my channel um give me a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell just to let you know every time i upload 
because sometimes I upload three, four, five times a week and then sometimes it's once a week. I do need to get into a routine of when I'm going to upload but with me, um, with my depression and with me grieving, it's very, very hard to stick to a routine. So I do apologise if you are waiting for me to do one but hopefully one day I will have a routine and I'll have days where I'm uploading and you will know. But in the meantime, if you hit the notification bell, it will notify you when I do upload. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you all soon. Bye.